this is Dylan Jones, and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we will be talking about the georeferencing workflow within the GeoSlam Draw software package. The georeferencing workflow using uh, the GeoSlam Draw software is especially useful when using a georeferencing plate with your um, Zeb Revo or Zeb Horizon scanner. As you can see uh, in the picture to the lower right, um, that, that Zeb Revo georeferencing plate attaches with just a simple bolt to the bottom of the scanner. So the point cloud was captured. Uh, ground control was set indoors with a total station. If I were to move outdoors, I could use GPS in um, addition to my total station. Um, in my project, I used a black and white target or a series of targets. Um, however, I could have used nails, pins, or just marker uh, markings on the ground. Um, and then a licensed version of GeoSlam Hub plus the Draw software package. Okay, so we're here in GeoSlam Hub 6.0. I have already processed my Zeb Revo data. Uh, you can see that here. Get a little preview of what the scan looks like. And so where we want to begin is by exporting out the reference points. So when I captured the data, I used this system here with the georeferencing plate. So that plate allows you to um, stand the scanner over a known control point or some sort of target reference that you want to utilize in your georeferencing. So with that being said, when you set the scanner down for five to 10 seconds, it will record a reference point. And so what we want to do is export out those reference points as they will be, they will be useful when we perform the georeferencing. I want to export it with the reference base offset. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop. So we'll export out that file. I'm going to show you what that file looks like here really quick. It's a text file containing um, a header here with an XYZ time duration and some other uh, data as well. But what's important are the XYZ values here. Um, so this column, this column, and this column. And that's all referenced based off of the, the uh, scan itself. So all relative to the scan starting at 0, 0, 0. Next, I have this indoor control point uh, text file. This contains my um, the coordinates that I'm going to use during the georeferencing. So since my scan was indoors, I used a total station in order to shoot in some known control points. So I'm going to georeference my scan to these coordinates here. And so my text file here is formatted in a way, uh, the first column being my point name, second column being my northing, third being my easting, and the fourth column being my elevation. Okay, so later on, I'll need to reference what each column represents, and also my coordinates here are in US survey feet. So I'll need to, to note that later on as well. So where we go from here um, is into the draw program. So it's just saying that, uh, do I want to create a draw project or not? Um, it sees that there isn't a draw program, or uh, sorry, a, a draw project already created. So I'll hit yes here. And you can pick from a, um, a set of LAZ or LAS files that may or may not have been exported already. And you can see here, I just have the results LAZ file to work with at the moment. So I'm going to choose that and choose submit. So it's creating my draw project. So now here in draw, um, the project is going to start creating some views. You can see that happening down here in the lower right corner. So I have my standard top down view, front facing view and a left facing view. So at this point, um, here's my point cloud all referenced based off of zero, zero, zero. Um, you can see that here up in the top right corner of the view, the X and Y coordinates. So right around that, you know, zero to 10 or so 
uh, meters. What I want to do uh, to begin here is use my 3D point tool in order to import my reference points. So clicking this 3D point tool, you'll then click anywhere on the point cloud. It establishes just a temporary point really. Um, that is to, to allow us to get into this job editor screen where we can now import points. So what we're going to do here is import the XYZ data of the reference points. So that would be the, the file that I exported out of GeoSlam Hub just a couple minutes ago. So that's this file right here. Hit open. And that should be in metric. What we need to do here is identify the column headings. You can see here in the, in the text file, uh, we have a header in the text file representing X, Y, Z. We need to correlate that with our drop-down items here. So we're going to click um, X coordinates for this column, Y coordinates for the second column, and Z coordinates for the third column. The rest of these columns we don't necessarily need at this time. So what you'll do there is choose the blank option from the drop-down. basically telling it to ignore those columns. Now we're going to hit the import button. Just saying that the first line in the text file is going to be skipped. And then now we can see the points from the reference text file displaying on the point cloud. I'm going to delete that temporary point by using my select tool. So now that point is selected and I can hit the delete key on my keyboard to delete that element. Okay, so next what we want to do is utilize GeoSlam Draw's Transform Calculator tool. In the Transform Calculator tool, you should see the points that you imported already here in the middle column. If you don't see them, you can choose Import from Project to re-import them. And then we're going to add the points from our reference system. So those are the control points that I laid out with my total station. So to add a control file, choose Add File. Browse to the file that represents your control points and ensure that you have your import units properly selected. Remember I said mine were in US survey feet. Ensure the rest of the properties here are valid, whether you have a comma separator or a semicolon, just make sure you, you are filling out the rest of your import settings properly. And then we're going to do our column headings here again identifying what the columns represent. So the first column is my point name. The second column is my actually my northing or my Y coordinate. The third column is my X coordinate or my easting. And the fourth column there is my Z coordinate or my elevation. So now that I have that set up properly, I'm going to choose the import button and then choose the Find Constellations button. Okay, that's going to allow GeoSlam Draw to automatically find the point pairing. Basically looks at the geometry of and the layout of, of the control points versus the points in the point cloud um, project. I'm going to choose Calculate Transformation next, and then choose Create Align. I'll choose yes to align the workspace and now it's going to re-establish my, my views. Okay, I want to go to my top-down view and if you remember from before, my, this hallway here was up to the top right so it's almost 
um, so it's rotated. It's found out and calculated the transformation parameters as appropriate to establish an alignment um, based off of my reference points and my control points. And you can see here in the top left, top right corner actually, my X and Y coordinates in meters. If I switch to a front or a left side view, you'll see the Z coordinate there as well as I move up and down. Okay, so at this point, now that I've georeferenced my point cloud, I'm going to export my point cloud using this export tool. You can export any portion of the point cloud that you want. I'm going to draw a polygon around all of it. You want to end it at the start point. So click on the start point to close that polygon. Then you're going to choose your processing settings here. I want to export out an LAZ format. And then I can choose the rest of my um, options here. Maybe you want to downsample the point cloud um, or something else. And then I'm going to choose where to export that to. I'm just going to go straight to my desktop. It's going to have the name cloud underscore zero LAZ. And then now I can choose my process button. So I'm going to launch a third party program and import just to make sure that my point cloud was correctly georeferenced. I'm going to import my control points and I'm going to import my um, georeferenced point cloud LAZ file. So here is my point cloud, my LAZ file, about 20 megabytes. Um, I'm going to import that into my project in my third party program here. I'm going to choose metric as my import unit and uh, it's a geo-referenced point cloud, so I'll hit OK there. So just getting my point cloud imported into my third party project um, and then I'm going to pull in my control points just to make sure that everything is lining up properly. And now for my text, my control text file. And import that. All right, things are looking good. Based on what I know about my, uh, my project here, I know that point 50, 40, 30 are all lining up, 10 and 20 as well. All right, so it looks like I properly, um, I properly geo-referenced my point cloud. Things are looking good. This has been another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. We hope you enjoyed this video and will join us again next time.